honestly a really good movie um a bit long it was two hours and like 40 minutes ish but visually it was stunning and it just it felt like a dream like the way it was shot like there would be transitions and like for me like time like there weren't time jumps but like like our characters would be in a room full of people and then it moves the camera moves inside at least just the two of them so you don't know how much time has passed like I don't know, it just flowed so differently from what I'm used to and it just it felt like a dream. And it was a really good movie. Um really enjoyed it. Timothy Chalamet was really good in that. I, I really liked his character. Um Anya Hiller Joy was in it for like two seconds, but that was cool. Um Zendaya was really I really liked Zendaya's character as well. Um Shani, um she kind of like Apparently it's a bit different from the books, but she, I, I liked how she didn't change her ways because of Paul, Timothy's character, who she loves, but then he kind of like decides to go down the route of power and controlling people and kind of like fitting into that destiny of his to become the messiah of um, the Freeman or just the whatever planet he's on, I forgot the name. And in the end, she just kind of like, is going on her own somewhere and I really I liked that point um or I liked that storyline but yeah overall a really good movie I think I gave it an 8 out of 10 on IMDb um yeah but the main the biggest takeaway was the soundtrack or the, the score and the visual uh, cinematography was amazing then after the movie we went to this Indian street food restaurant so we had we bought a vada pao uh, both of us I got like a cheese burst one it was actually really good and uh, I got some tea some masala chai and then I also we ordered um, dahi puri and we split that in half so that was really good the reason that made me want to go watch um, Doom 2 was <laughs> what makes me want to watch most movies nowadays is TikTok and the edits on TikTok. So I saw quite a few edits about Paul, which is Timothy's character. And I was like, I want to go, like, I want to find out because it looked really interesting. And then another movie that I've been meaning to watch because of edits is Anatomy of Paul. And that guy with the silver hair, he's a lawyer in the movie. You know, like, I haven't seen the movie yet. <laughs> I don't know what it is about TikTok and edits. They'll completely shift your perception on someone. Like they can take one character and you just put a certain song in the back and they edit it a certain way and you start feeling certain things. So oh oh my goodness. Also my TikTok's been showing me a lot of F1 drivers and 
Formula One sort of content. So now I follow a bunch of Formula One drivers on my Instagram and I'll see a lot of edits of them as well. And I feel like I might have finally found a sport that I could potentially support. So we'll see. I'll keep you updated. The day before yesterday, we went to this um, Taylor Swift night thing downtown. Um, and it was fun. It was honestly really fun. I don't go out as often. Um, so going out was fun. I had a good time. The venue was a bit dead. Um, when we went, half the venue was tables. So the, the dance floor was just like a narrow space. And uh, they were playing a lot of sadder songs of Taylor Swift, which she has a lot and I get like, you know, sometimes you just want to sing along. But a lot of the songs that were playing were like not dance material. Um, and they were treating it basically like a concert, which I feel like they could have gone like a different route and just played music and not talked as much. Because they were literally, they would play like two songs and they would start talking about giveaways and uh, new programs coming up at Roxy's or um, trivia questions or telling us to check out their Instagram page to sort of vote for whatever song was gonna play next. So I felt a bit, I don't know. And I went with people who are like hardcore Taylor Swift fans. So I, I listen to Taylor Swift quite a bit as well, but I'm the kind of person when you listen to, when I listen to music typically, I, don't pay attention to lyrics at all like i'll know the vibe of the song and i can hum along and you know but if you tell me to sing it sometimes i wouldn't know the words and i feel like your albums like some songs from lover some from reputation some from uh, midnights not listen to as much so i don't know the words so i think when it comes like when they were playing songs from that album i just wasn't singing <laughs> So my friends were like, because we were going to the concert on December, right? So they were like, you better get on your game and learn all the lyrics. And I was like, yes, I will do that. So um, that's something that I probably am going to work on a bit more is just knowing all the lyrics a bit. And I finally wore... I was wearing this bracelet today that my friend got for me from Turkey. And it matches my... some of my gold jewelry that I'm wearing. I'm trying a bit where I'm sort of mixing silver and gold together which I've done before uh, there was a point where I would always wear gold on this hand and silver on this um, and like even the necklace that I'm wearing is a bit a two-toned jewelry piece that my brother got for me for either my birthday or Raksha Bandhan but yeah I, I think I'm gonna start wearing more bracelets because I have quite a few actually let me show you I have this little tennis bracelet that's sterling silver. It's really pretty. Then I have this, um, hang on, I guess, this tennis bracelet as well that I got from my side. This one is a bit of a rose gold one. It's really pretty. I just never wear it for some reason. Then I have another one from Turkey. I think the problem with these and the reason why I don't wear them is because it's very hard to put them on just like one person on their own. It's really pretty. Um, this that I bought a matching set for me and my friend. Again, very pretty. Just don't wear it for some reason. It has a little daisy on it. I have this one that I bought from a vintage store. This one's stage jewelry. but. From a vintage store that's closing down now. That one looks like that. Then I have a bunch of different watches. This one's my Nani's. This one uh, my dad got for me when we moved to India. This one I thrifted and then it stopped working and I went back home and I got it fixed. Oh, and then I have this bracelet which is from Guess that a classmate of mine in 10th grade got for me for my birthday and I feel like this is one of the oldest jewelry pieces that I have and I still wear it it's, I like it because it has G in it which is my initial I love that, look at that I have quite a few 
rectangles as well. There's this one that I got. This is wooden and I got it from... This is why I got it so I can wear it like... Like that. I got this from... I forgot what the place was but it's somewhere in Gujarat. Like that. And this is a bangle that one of my... Not my nani but one of my nani's sister-in-law she gave it to me like the night i was flying out and it's red which is like a lucky color and then i have buy just a lot of bangles so i have like a set of these that's like and then i have this but like in like a turquoise color it's really pretty as well just don't wear this i have a lot of like these kind of bangles metal I have this ring that's very, very Indian. I just don't wear it. It's actually pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna wear it. This bangle that I, it was a pair. I gave one to a housemate of mine. I don't know why. I have one 